anything for me to do this. You are smart. I am kind. I am smart. I am important. I am powerful. I have something to say. I can change the world. And I am loved. How many of you want to be invited to parties in high school? Raise your hand. How many? I'm saying. Right? Braylon, don't you expect to be invited to parties? Okay, you should expect to be invited to parties because you're what? Kind and you're fun. You have to think you are or you won't be invited. Okay, stay with me. Your choices of what to do when you're there. Remember what we talked about last week? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. In the digital health world, you need to have a clean, healthy what? Life. Come on, what is it called? How do I do this? Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> a digital footprint. Your digital footprint is something that is on the internet is never going to go away. Okay? You're going to be at parties. You're going to be with people. They're going to be doing things that hopefully you are not doing. But if you're wi with them, what are you? That's like guilty by association. If you're anywhere and you have water in a cup, what are you drinking? Beer. Alcohol. Beer. Alcohol. It doesn't matter if you have water in there. Do not drink out of these things. Vitally important for you. Do you guys get that? Yes. yes. How come you don't remember? We did this last week. I did. Okay. I did. This is really important for you. Okay? Nobody's going to talk to you about this stuff. Okay? Here's the thing. Here's, did I bring this? Maybe I did. This is, this is what you do. Okay? Go buy a $2 smart water bottle. When you're done drinking it, keep it. Fill it up with water in your tap. You're going to feel cool. Guess what? The mind sees that word. The mind sees this word and all of a sudden somebody's talking to you and they think you're smart because you're drinking water. And guess what? When that person, remember, when that person says to you, ah, you're drinking water? Yes. Well, say, say yeah. Yeah. I am. They're going to want to make sure that you feel uncomfortable because I think they might feel uncomfortable drinking what they're drinking, right? Does it make sense, Alex? Okay. So cool. This is cooler than, than Niagara water, right? So you're going to be cool. You're going to feel good. <laughs> Grab something and keep it. Does that make sense? It's really important. Okay? All right. Whose responsibility is it? to make sure your digital footprint is clean. No. Mine? No. Your mom's? No. Your friends? No. no, your friends don't care. Right? Because they're not thinking for you. You think for you. Okay? Very important. All right, so. Does anybody remember the definition of digital footprint? Um, uh, when you have it in here? Does anybody remember? No, don't look, don't look. Come on. When you leave something in the internet for everyone to see. When you leave something on the internet for everyone to see. Hmm. Maybe. What else? Do you remember? Here. Valdemar. <laughs> Wait, nice and loud. What is the cool word in there? No. Mentally and emotionally. Not just physically. Physically on the internet? What does that mean? That means don't stay up late. That means keep yourself safe so people don't follow you. Okay? You don't put your name out there. You don't put your address out there. Remember all this stuff? Okay? Emotionally. If somebody's texting poorly about you, your digital footprint, don't do it back. What? Dude, really? Question mark? Even if it's a girl, you can say dude. Dude, really? Okay, because then guess what you just did? You left a cool digital footprint. That's like, okay, I'm not putting up with this. This is your thing. Okay? Got that? Yeah. All right. So, today.
Do you know this is the last session we're supposed to have? Stop mine. It makes me cry. So. Um, yes, I'll probably come back. Maybe what we'll do is we'll we'll work on what should be the next set with you guys. Um, depends on what your teacher says. Okay, so this is the last one. Why do you think this is the last lesson? Because yes. It's the most important. Why? Because it's something we need in our daily lives. It's something we what? Need in our daily lives. Why do you need this in your daily life? Maybe I need in my daily life because <laughs> what could can help you go places like to the mall yes. for a better future, right? Better choices, right? So responsibility is choosing to do what is expected of me without being told and accepting the results of my actions. Integrity. Good word. Really good word. Okay, so responsibility is really, really important. Do what's expected of you, right? In your house, you may not want to do all those things, like all those chores and stuff, but you do what's expected of you with a really poor attitude, right? No, no. No, no, no. So your parents can see that you're being responsible and they don't have to tell you to do your children. Mm -hmm. How many do that at home? Chores. Chores. Oh, I know. Who is she? With us? Great. Yeah. Uh, would have been. With a good attitude, right? So they can see your nice posture, your anger, your smile. Yeah. And they can do it at Okay, come back to me. Come back to me, chickens. Come back. All right, so responsibility. Um, I'd like to, Mr. Blue, can you come up here for a second? I already forgot your name. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this guy. Okay, so <coughs> let's see. It'd be really cool for you to ask this question. Right? Oh, actually, uh, who will win well, yeah. Okay. Let's 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 do um, when you go somewhere, you're sitting down to dinner, you're out to dinner, you're with your family. What are the things that make you interested? Who? What? Makes you interesting. You go out. You're somewhere, right? You're uncomfortable. You don't have to talk. Ask open-ended questions to people you don't know. And guess who's talking? Mr. Blue. Mr. Blue. Okay, you ready? So, who are you and why are you? Uh, my name is Jerry Sure. It's not like Shrek. You know Shrek. So it's close, close to Shrek, and I help mentoring programs. So I was invited just to watch your class today. Yes? Uh, what I do for a living is I help mentoring programs. I actually have had group mentoring programs myself. But in the past, I had a very different job that might be more interesting. I was a professional football player. Whoa. So I played for Los Cafes de Cleveland. Does anybody know? That's the Cleveland Browns. I played for 12 years. I was a defensive tackle. So it used to be my job to grab people and throw them out of the way and chase the quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very good question. She asked who was my role model growing up. I had very good ones. Uh, one was my dad, who was a hard worker. He was in construction. And he would get up at 5 o'clock in the morning and come back home at 6 o'clock at night, very dirty from you know being in construction. And also my mother, who was a school teacher, and she actually is still alive. She's 96 years old. Wow. 
So we live close to San Diego. So if you see a little old lady in a red car driving, <laughs> get out of the way because that's my 96 year old mother. Yes. Uh, how did you find out about uh, I found out about the class through Mr. Paul Fries. Yeah. We've been talking to him. Yes. Oh, oh, Paul. Oh, Paul. Oh, Paul. And we were on a phone conversation about three weeks ago, and he invited myself and, and my business partner, Judy Taylor, who's back there. Hello. So these are all good questions. Any more questions? Yes. What do you live by or what is your motto? Ooh, very good. What do I live by and what's my motto? Kind of goes back to football because in football you get knocked down quite a bit. So my motto is when you get knocked down, pick yourself up and get going again. Any more questions? Oh, he has a question. Um, how did you make it to the NFL? question is, how did I make it to the NFL? Uh, I was a very late bloomer. So in high school, I only played football one year. But I also wrestled. And um, I went to a junior college on a scholarship. And I, my body started growing and growing. And I ended up at Oklahoma State University. And I got... Uh, I didn't know I played professional football, and I got drafted by the Cleveland Browns. Wow. So they, they chose me. Okay, so Jerry, when it comes to responsibility in the NFL, what are some things that, and, and Alex, you got to raise these on the board. What are some things that you needed to be responsible for to be in the NFL? Uh, the things, uh, a lot of things I had to be responsible for. One was uh, being in shape. Um, Go ahead. Another is when you're playing in like a team sport, you have to do your own job first. You can't worry about other people's job because if you're worried about somebody else doing their job then you don't do your job so Whoa. you have to do your job first okay so in a team what job do you do <laughs> you guys when you're in a team of people <coughs> whose job do you do <coughs> your first. Your first. I mean, yours. what else you got <coughs> um after you do your own job help others so you need to to help your your teammates Wonderful. What is your dream for these children here? Um, my dream for you all is for you to find what you want to do and then to be able to do it. So I actually work with a lot of former NFL ball players, and they come back from having lived a life in the NFL and making money, and they have to kind of find their own way again. So what I tell them is that they are the, the hero and you study literature, you know what a protagonist is. So you are all the protagonist, the main character of your own story. So it's your job to figure out what your calling is. So for me, my calling, my first calling was football. My second calling was working with young people. And you just uh, have to overcome obstacles to get to where you want to go. Some things that can help you are finding um, people and programs like the one that you're in to help you, to give you advice and so forth. What is that called, you guys? When you go out and do something? No, you, 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 you built what? You have this. Confidence, Confidence and re re Respect. Resi Resilience. Resilience, right? Right? Okay, so he's in the world. How many people do you think are in the world that will help you? A lot. Is it going to be hard for you to find them sometimes? Yes. yes. Are they there? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just go after the people. It may take ten people before you find somebody to help you. But they are out there. Okay? Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So. There were three things, three words I picked for responsibility today. You want to know what they are? 
want to know if you agree with these. Okay? Commencement and Okay. Why is responsibility take Andrew? Take courage. Why does responsibility take courage? Yeah. Especially in front of other people that maybe don't want you to do it. Like drink from a water bottle. Right? What about commitment? Why does responsibility take commitment? Stick with it because it's important. And why does it take commitment? Maybe because... What? Nice and loud. I said it's like a job. You have to work in order for something to happen. If you don't commit to it, then there's going to be no outcome. Yes. True. Okay. So in your books, there is a list of skills to become responsible. Okay. So... It says, the most important responsibility I have is what? So take your pencils out. I just want you to write down just that one thing in the book. The most important responsibility I have is. And while you're writing it, I just want you to think of what would happen if that responsibility went away. What would it mean to your life? Or what would it mean to your family? What would it mean to your future? Right? What is your most important responsibility? Can That's a really good one. Care of others. Sounds like Sequana, right? Taking care of others was her main responsibility. Yeah. What's yours? We got one taking care of self, one taking care of others. One is being healthy. Yes. Maintaining my grades. Huge. Right? Yes. Cap. What? To get, to get good grades. Chores, like making your bed. Yeah. You know, sometimes my daughter, who is nine years old, I'll catch her like she doesn't want to move the covers down, so she'll sleep on top because she doesn't want to make the bed in the morning. I'm like, what is that about? Right? Smart? So she'd rather sleep uncomfortably because she's being what? Lazy. Lazy. Okay? Responsibility comes commitment and sometimes it's uncomfortable. Is that okay? Yes. When does your life start? When you're born. When you're born. Life starts when you're uncomfortable. Right? Remember? So be uncomfortable. Okay, real quick. What are the responsibilities that you guys have at your age? Doing homework. homework. What? Homework. 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 Studying. Good grades. Studying. Your grades. grades. What else? Come on. Chores. Chores. Uh, Be a what? Be a role model for people, siblings, right? Grandparents care. Stay to stay happy. That's a good one. Happiness. Because I can make you happy, right? Yes. You make yourself happy, right? By what you stay, do, and feel. What are the only things you're in control of, Valdemar, in your whole life is what you Because life is what? 10% And taking action to be the best you can be is my responsibility, right? No. 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 Is it your responsibility to be the best you can be? So what is that? Right? What does it take to get there? That's your responsibility, right? Is this it? Is this all you guys worry about at your age? No, electronics. Okay. Electronics, like getting on them and who's got the remote? Oh, taking care of pets. Pets? Taking care of yourself. Taking care of yourself. Your emotional health, right? 
When you wake up in the morning, are you in or out of your happiness circle? And if you're out, whose responsibility to get yourself back in? Right. Right? You listen to music, you call somebody, you get a hug, right? Whose responsibility is it to connect? Yourself. Whose responsibility is it to be kind? Yourself. So be kind. kind. Yourself. So be kind, okay? Who wants to um, be part of this project? Raise your hand. Get up. I can't get up. Get up. <laughs> Stefani, up. Valdemar, up. Up. Yep, you two didn't raise your hand. Come on. All right, so. We did opposite, right? So we took the team that's not doing it. So who would, I think somebody over here, Morgan, come on up. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I want you guys to take a couple seconds. I want you to go over there. I'm going to give you exactly one minute. So I want you guys to kind of take stage over here. Um, this is a responsibility project. Okay? No, we don't start that until, until you're ready to start. So we need the head person to say who you are and what's going on. You lead team in directions of what the project is. You need to make sure everyone is listening. Eyes on me, so you can so you can only repeat it once. Are you reading the directions? Your directions, or are you telling us what you need to do? I'm reading my directions. Okay, wait. This way. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. NASA, NASA asked us to build a red. Who? NASA. NASA asked us to? NASA asked us to build a rectangular satellite with rows from bottom being the longest to top stack. Okay. Two, two, so one, triangular. Right. Rectangular. Wait. Is it? Is it rectangular. Yeah, it's rectangular. Triangular. Okay. Triangular. That's what it says. Triangular. Okay. And I think we're going to have to come do it over here. So let's bring the cups. One over here. Okay? Hold on. One team, you're going to be timed on this. And we have 15 minutes. So what I want you guys to take note of is what is this team doing? Okay? They're working together. Maybe they're um, part of Raytheon or... <laughs> There's no more talking team. Next. Start over, Chance. Your own words. Yeah, what are you? Oh, so I'm supposed to tell the team how they're supposed to build the satellite. And I can ask to take part into it. Like, I can tell them, like, it's time, so I'm like, give them a reminder. Okay. All right. Next. Andrew. All right. Um, I'm the team support manager, so I feel like it helps others stay calm and be, help them be productive. And awesome. Just like this. Beautiful. Next, what we got over there? I'm starting to start. Starting to start and? And stop. Okay, so you got to keep track of that because it's time. And? Stefania, what are you? I'm the manager. I'm the direction. Well, what are the directions? Oh, NASA asked us to build a triangular triangular satellite with rows from bottom being the longest to top stack. Oh, yep, that's it. So you got to build a triangular satellite stacked. And you're timed. How are you going to do it? Ready? Oh, How are you going to do it? It's your team. Oh, I'm team construction manager. So what I tell them to do is whether to work separately or work together to rebuild it if it falls down. If it falls down. Okay, who tells them how to do it? I guess I do that too. Who tells them how to do it? Well, tell them how to build. Look at you got 21 cups. You got to make a triangle. All right, so what I want y'all to do is get the majority of the cups and line them up on the floor and then get the remaining cups and then try to stack them up. Try to stack them up? And remember, it has to go. Chance, what does it have to do? Is it has to. It has to be a triangle. 
Yeah. With how many on top? One, then two, then three? Yeah, so it, gotta, it, gotta be, it gotta be like consecutive. So one, two, three. We have 21 cups. Okay, you ready? Timer. Are we being timed right now? Okay. Construction manager. Construction manager. Construction manager. You manage. Yeah. No, you're doing. You're doing. You're doing. You manage people. I tell people what to do. All of us can work together. So I want you guys to come and work with us. There's a pump. Would you do it? Do now. They got to take it to the party. No, I got to just go like that. Yeah, you just over. Are they using clear communication? Oh, we're sliding it over now. Yeah, then move it over. Yeah, we're gonna jump. No. Done. Four boats. I'm about to bottom row. Break your heart. How long did that take? How long did it take? How many? A minute. A minute? Yeah. Sixty seconds? A minute. A minute and one second. A minute and one second. Okay. So take it down. <laughs> take it down, Michael. Okay, right, get up there. Let's see how long it takes you. Two. Yep. Okay, take it down. Take it down. Come on, let's go. Michael. Michael. Take it down, Michael. Take it down. Take it down. Stop it. Okay, you ready? Be the timer. You both have to do it. You decide. Ready? You gotta beat a minute. Are you gonna talk? How are you gonna do it? Set. Go. It's okay, Rodney. That's yeah, it. Yeah, Rodney. Shape. Shape. Yeah, Rodney. 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 Shape. Yeah, Where'd they get? Okay, stay right there. Stay with me, stay with me. If that was NASA and they were here and they like saw this team trying to do something. Stay, stay with me. What kind of communication did you guys have? What? They made two separate stacks. None. Okay, so if you have a job, what's one of your responsibilities? To work with the team. To work with the team. What's one of your responsibilities when you're with the team? To do your job first. Teamwork and no, do your job first. Well, how do you know what your job is if you're not communicating back and forth to each other, right? Okay, do you think this was a simple task? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think building a satellite is a simple task? No. So, are you going to be on a project or on a team one day or on a huge project coming in high school next year? Okay. What is it? What's your responsibility? Your main responsibility is to know what your job is, right? And to be clear on that, even if it's your homework. You guys, do you understand that? Yes. Okay? Because once you're clear on it, do you think that you can build your part of your project better and faster? What would you have done differently, Morgan? Me? Yeah, on the team. What would you have done, said, so your team could have done it better, faster? Um, 
try try your best and uh, work a little faster and more cooperatively. More cooperatively. All right. Did did this make any sense? Adding this to responsibility. Yes. Yes. Okay. What is your opinion of responsibility in a team? To communicate. What's your responsibility with trust? To what? To trust. To what? To communicate what you need. What is your responsibility with accepting yourself? To communicate who you are in your head to yourself, right? What is your responsibility with digital health? To stay safe, right? By telling people don't take pictures of me, right? Don't text me like that, right? Communication, right? Okay, so your responsibility is in a lot of topics. Do you remember these four topics here? Personal responsibility, family responsibility, community responsibility, and your future vision responsibility, okay? You guys wanna all sit down? Okay, so. Ladies, can you come up here? Look who came back to see you. Hi. 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 So do you remember their names? Yes. Come on, think hard. What? Oh, Miss Judge. I misjudged all the time. <laughs> Such a good lesson for you. Okay. I need one question. One question to each of our guests, please. Morgan? What made you come back? What made you come back? What come back? Oh my God. I, as you know, I, we talked about this before, I was an English teacher first, and then a lawyer when I was 40. I went to law school, and then I got the bench when I was 50, and now I'm 75. And the, I wanted, once I, once I retired from the bench, I wanted to get back in the classroom. But I didn't want to teach a regular subject anymore because English is just, you know. Um, and so, of course, Uncle Paul, I knew when I was on the bench for all these years, and he said, there's something going on I think you'll like. And I came for the first time and saw it. First of all, I fell in love with all you guys. I can't believe how sharp being on the bench with, with dependency for all those years and seeing these kids in trouble, how sharp the next generation is. So that really did something for my heart. And then the second thing is I fell in love with the program. This speaks to me exactly where I want to be right now. Actually, I want you to ask them a question um, that, that you think they could ponder about responsibility so they don't end up in the spots where the kids are or the families are that, that you've seen over the years. What, what is one form of responsibility that is important for them at the stage of eighth grade going into high school? You know, I, last week was not a great week and so I thought to myself, life is a little bit like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Some days are really, really hard, like those stupid chairs. Some days are really, really hard, and some days are really, really soft, and some days are just right. And in those just right days, figure out what went right. Ooh. Figure out what it was that made that day a good day. And then you can handle better the days that are too hard and the days that are too soft. Um, that's great I advice. Love coming here. My name is Tracy, and I actually grew up in Canada, and I immigrated to America when I was young, uh, right out of college. And I um, worked with books. I worked in a publishing company in New York City, and then I came to Los Angeles with books, and I started to sell these books to studios, to Hollywood studios and I became a television producer uh, th through really my love of books. And you know, when I came to Los Angeles, I, I came with my husband. I had no friends here. I had no family here. I left my family in Canada. It was very hard for me. 
I just persevered. You know, I just kept doing it. I kept working as hard as I could, and I networked and made friends and made connections and developed my career, and I've done very well. Uh, you know, and I'm very thankful for the opportunities that I've had here. Have you ever felt lonely along the way? Many, many times. I think it's very natural to feel lonely and to, you know, to talk to your friends about it, talk to your parents about it. Absolutely. Why do we get lonely? Because we're human. human. Whose responsibility is it to connect with people? Yourself. So connect. It will keep you healthy. It will keep you healthy. It will keep you connected. It will make you feel stronger and more stable and loved. But that's your responsibility. And it's going to happen next year. You're going to see people that you want to be friends with not talking to you. That is okay. How you feel about that is normal. What you're going to do about it is up to you. Because the only thing you're in charge of in your whole life, the only thing you can control is what you think, say, do, and feel. Okay? Right? Is that not true? Absolutely, Absolutely true. There's nothing else you're in control of. Okay? And if I had to leave and this was the last class, I just want you to know you are really powerful. You're more powerful than you think. And you have something to say. So, say. And if you can do it respectfully, you're going to give yourself respect, you're going to give that other person respect, and usually you're going to get what you want in the long run. Because you have something to say. Don't stay on the sidelines of your life. She didn't. Immigration. Books. Movies. Film. Who are you? Where do you want to be? Where do you want to go? It's not the responsibility of your parents or your teachers. They're the people who keep you resilient. You go to them for help. It's up to you to make your path and your life vision. Okay? This book, I would just take it. I would go through it. I would then read it to your parents or your guardians or a friend. You say it out loud, what those visions are. Remember, you say it out loud and you write it down. What percent is it that it comes true? 90 something percent with your vision. <laughs> if you write down what you're grateful for at least three times a week, you're what percent happier? 25 percent happier. Who wants to be happier? Then be grateful. Think grateful thoughts, especially when you're sad <coughs> or sad. Right? How many know sad or mad or depressed people, right? Don't you wish you could just tell them to be grateful for you and have it change, right? Don't be that person. Uncle Paul, what would you have to say to these guys today? So Tracy, tell them about the topics of the, of the films you produced. I did a film um, for FX a few years ago about a um, Klansman, a, a racist in um, the South who was responsible for blowing up the church in Birmingham that killed the girls and was a catalyst for the civil rights movement. And I did the, I worked with his son, uh, who he had abused his whole life. Um, and um, we made this movie about that story and we were able to put the actual Klansman in prison. He had evaded the law for 40 years or something. And we put him away. Um, so I'm very proud of that film. Uh, I made a film about a group of veterans in the Gulf War who came back to the U.S. with diseases uh, from exposure to uh, weapons, and uh, that changed laws as well. I made a, another film in Morocco about uh, terrorism from the point of view of families who get recruited to be terrorists. Uh, I made a film about the bombing of Hiroshima. The first film I made was about the bombing of Hiroshima. How many uh, students know the bombing of Hiroshima? Yes, and we went to Japan. It was the first time that the American people worked with the Japanese people to make a film about the bombing. So it was also a landmark project. So I like doing political content. That's my specialty. You guys, did you hear that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. One person, you heard her life so far. Yeah, my, I you struggled. heard her life and how... It how was a struggle for me. But, but law changes. Yes. People in prison 
Did she change the world? Yes. yes. Did she do it alone? No. Did she lead her thoughts and make them happen? Yes. Okay. Use that. Don't be afraid to take those thoughts and put them into action. It's your responsibility to change the world and make it a better place. Okay? You really can do it. I mean, I really believe that you can do it. I did it, you know, and I just feel that you can, whatever you want to achieve, you can achieve through hard work and resiliency. And the fact that Patricia has taught you about resiliency is the most important tool. That and love, of course, love and respect. Um, but resiliency is so important. When you say, Judge, being resilient and coming back, Oh, I think pretty much that's it. But being able to absorb what's happening in your life that isn't going so well and telling yourself that that has nothing to do with the core of who you are. And then turning around and pushing it back out by using the tools you've learned here or the tools you've learned in school as you're going along. Um, you know, the world is yours, guys. It really, truly is. The world is yours. I can't wait to see what you become. I just can't. It's just fabulous. And if you lead with this, right. everything falls into place. Right. Very true. I promise if you lead with that, everything will fall into place. Now remember, our emotions, we're socially and emotionally intelligent, right? Mm -hmm. Do you feel you're socially emotionally intelligent, right? Mm -hmm. How many think they are? Yes or no? You think you have some skills to be socially, emotionally intelligent, to be able to know how you feel? So remember that emotions are there to make you feel, but not only make you feel, to make you act. You got big emotions and you're mad, how are you gonna act? Sad emotions, how are you gonna act? Happy and excited emotions, how are you gonna act? Creative emotions, you feel creative, how are you gonna act? You go and um, sit there? Or are you going to do something about it? Do something about it. Okay? Be love. Be love. See you next week. Thank you. My name is Nayeli Rosales. I'm in the eighth grade and I'm 13 years old. One thing that has changed about me um, with this program is my temper and how I react to things. Uh, the thing I different that I noticed that was different about my classmates was how we like talk to each other and how we like our attitude in general. For example, like when we're in class and like before we wouldn't really talk to each other to understand the questions and now we like kind of turn to each other for help. Uh, what I relate to from the program is uh, that I have to be resilient. That's one of the most things that is important because with being resilient, um, you can come back from things that you stay in like if it's something that hurts you you can come back from it and act in a better way my name is Braylon Howard I'm in the eighth grade and I'm currently 13 years old what I've seen change in myself is my patience and confidence because like when people usually ask me for help or what used to happen I usually didn't have patience and just like wanted to hurry up and get it through and confidence has helped me take on more roles as a leader and lead in a better way the part of the program I probably relate to is a mantra because you always need a, like a motto to keep yourself going and like like getting it up there to speak and building confidence. My motto is Sick Parvis Manga and this is Latin and it stands for greatness from small beginnings. My name is Morgan Ingram. I'm in eighth grade and I'm 13 years old. So I'd say the single most thing that I've kept with me from this program that they've taught me and that has changed me would be my confidence level and my level of happiness and how happy I am day in and day out. I've noticed that since we've been in this program, our class continuously gets better and decides to work with each other. Before, our attitudes weren't very good with each other, but now that we've had this program, we've come together and try to help each other out. If we know something's wrong, we'll ask each other what's wrong and we'll try to figure out the problem and solve it. I'd say the single most element that I work with myself from this program day in and day out would be how to be more, not more confident, but how to show it more expressively and let people know that I am confident and that I have a lot more to store inside to show other people.